Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing with you what I got our kids for Easter. So if you want to see this, then stick around. If this is your first time here, I just want to welcome you. My name is Sarah and I'm a homeschooling mom to five kids ages 12, almost eight, six, five, and three. And here on my channel, I like to share content on homeschool, motherhood, I like to share my faith in Christ, and I like to share about books. So if you are interested in any of those, then be sure to hit that subscribe button and make sure to turn on the notification so that you're notified when I upload new videos. Okay, so before I start, I just wanted to share this little printable that I found. And this thing is so cute, you guys. I will try to remember to link it below in case you want to use it. But um, it's just a little scavenger hunt. So you, I'm gonna cut these out. I'm gonna laminate it and then cut it out so I have them for uh, so I have it for years to come. And it's just a scavenger hunt to be able to find their baskets. I just thought this was such a cute idea. The first one says, the people said Hosanna. The next clue is buy a banana. So you would hand them obviously the first card and then they have to go and follow the cards. Then you would put this at the last clue and then it says your Easter basket is and then they find out where their Easter basket is. So I thought this was so cute and such a fun idea um, just to add as a little tradition. Um, speaking of traditions, every year I try to do the resurrection eggs. We started doing this a couple years ago and my kids really enjoy it and they look forward to it every year. Um, it's inside right now. I didn't think to share it with you because I was sharing an Easter basket. I don't know why I didn't think to share with you, but I will link, um, I will link this printable plus the resurrection eggs that I use along with all the things that I can link in the description box below. So if you like any of this stuff and want to get it for your kids or whatever, it will be down there linked for you. Okay, so now on to the Easter basket. One of the things I decided to do this year was instead of giving each of my kids their own basket, I decided because I just, for one, it can really add up. And the things that I really wanted to get them were more family gifts. So this year I decided to just get them a big basket and put everything in this basket. And I thrifted this basket for $2, okay? Do you see how big this thing is? I just went to Target today and I think a basket this size was almost $20, okay? <laughs> Brand new. So it did not come white though. It was actually, I think someone had spray painted it like a gold color. So I got some spray paint from Walmart and I spray painted it white. Uh, so pretty much this basket probably cost me under $5 because I didn't even use the whole can of spray paint and I still have that for another project. But I thought I would share that with you guys. That, look at you can always find baskets at the thrift store and usually they're better they're better priced than the actual store and then if you need to you can just spray paint it and it's fine so this is the basket that I have for them and it's going to be their um it's going to be their basket that we are just putting all the gifts in and that they're sharing. Um, because one thing that I don't want to do with Easter and Christmas is because we are Christians and, you know, the true meaning for us for Easter is not about gifts and things like that. It is about, you know, how Jesus came and that he died for us and that he resurrected and that is the greatest gift of all, to pay the penalty that we couldn't pay, and that is the good news, and that is the thing that I want my kids to gain out of everything. So this year, I thought it would just be way funner to get them a few family gifts, and then a couple things for each of them, and then put it all in one basket, and boom, there we go. So I feel like the things that I got them were very intentional this year and I'm so excited. So 
let's go and i'm not even going to share the best till till last so make sure you watch this whole video so that you don't miss the best gift that i got them okay so the first family gift that i got them is a soccer ball i'm pretty sure i got this and i probably shared it in my last year's easter i either got this and put it in my son's easter basket or it might have been um a valentine's day gift i can't remember but my dog popped it so they really love playing soccer in our backyard we have a pretty big backyard um so i thought a new one was due so a new soccer ball then i also got them some bubbles because can you even have an easter basket without bubbles and i love this pastel uh colors i usually get bubbles from walmart but i went to target and they had these pastel colors so i like that and then um there are six of them so there will be an extra one and i'll just probably pop it in there just like this but um each of my kids, I actually assign them each a color, and each of their colors are here. Orange is Nathan, uh, Faith is purple, Blue is Isaac, Justice is green, and Joy is pink, and then we'll just have an extra one. I also got them this chalk. Okay, I was at Target, and they wanted like five bucks for a pack of chalk like this, and I was thinking, I'm just going to wait and go to the Dollar Tree because I know I could probably get you know the same amount of chalk for a buck and then i ended up going to walmart and i found it for a dollar and some change which was i ended up buying it at walmart because if you guys know the dollar tree went up 25 cents <laughs> so it would probably have cost the same actually it might have been a little less at um walmart so i think it was like a dollar 20 or something like that i don't know so i got them some chalk and then at target in the dollar spot i found uh this water balloon thing where you um you just hook the little thing to the hose or the faucet or whatever and it blows up all the balloons at once i think we've only done this one time and i can't remember if it worked well or not but i thought for three dollars it was in the target dollar spot um i'll get it now each of my kids, my daughter asked this for her birthday, but I knew that, and her birthday is the week before um, Easter, and I knew that if I got her this, all my other kids would probably want it too, or at least almost all of them. I don't know if Nathan would have wanted it, but I ended up getting it for them for Easter, and I got them each their color, and they are binoculars so i got faith purple uh and they came it was cool i got these on amazon i'll link them and they came in this little pouch i hope they're good i think i paid some of them they were less than ten dollars each and then some of them were on sale so i got this pink one is for joy because her color is pink and i don't i'm not sure if i'm going to keep them in these packs i might keep them in these packs and then kind of you know put a little name tag on there uh on theirs uh, isaac has blue this is what the blue one looks like the color um blue it is uh let's see nathan has orange it's so funny anytime we get them stuff like this we always try to find them in their colors uh because then everyone knows whose is whose right and then justice has that green so i just thought these would be so fun we like to go on nature walks and then i thought they might like these to bring when we go camping so and just in our backyard i know faith actually i know all my kids will probably take them out in the backyard and just go look at the birds and stuff okay now the other individual gift i got for them um they each got one more thing and then i have a family gift for them and um, I guess I'll start with Nathan. So Nathan's uh, older and he's really into Lego. So I found him uh, this Lego at, I tried to keep their gifts um, under $10. So everyone was pretty much, actually, <laughs> they were pretty much under five bucks. Cause I didn't, I was, the next, the last gift I'm gonna share with you was the most expensive. So I wasn't trying to get anything too too expensive for each of them because you know times five that adds up uh so i got nathan this lego set um 
I hope he'll, I hope he likes this. I don't know. This is the only one they had and Batman. I feel like they used to have a ton of these and now they don't. Okay, so the next gift is Fates and it is this sweet little ballerina doll. And this is funny because I actually got this at Once Upon a Child and ha this happened because we were there and she was picking out a couple things. My kids each had money that they had saved up and we, I actually went there to find her Faith and Easter dress. And then I let them go through the toys because they each had um, some money that they could spend of their own. And Faith had seen this doll and she really wanted it. And I told her, well, you can either get this or the other thing that she wanted. And she really wanted the other things. And she wanted to even hide this doll so that she could come back and buy it. So I ended up buying it for her because I didn't know if I was going to give it to her for Easter or for her birthday um, because her birthday is right before Easter but I decided to put it in the Easter basket and she is going to be so excited. She was just so excited because it came with this purse and this little kitty and then um, you know she has this little skirt and she's just so cute so I don't even know where you would find this doll but I don't know she thinks she really wanted it so I know she's gonna be excited to see that I had purchased it for her because y'all know once upon a child if it's there one time it's it's probably gonna be gone the next just like a thrift store you gotta grab the things um or they're not gonna be there next time so and then for my younger three they're pretty easy to please so <laughs> I got them each in the Target dollar spot um, they had these and they had them in their colors. So I got them each uh, a dinosaur. So Joy gets pink because that's her color. Isaac gets blue because that's his color. And Justice gets green because that's his color. And we have dinosaurs and they love them. They, I just, I love things like this because it's open ended play and they have so much fun with these things. So I know that, you know, even though these were each a dollar, they are going to love these so much. Okay, so now this last thing that I'm gonna share with you, I am super excited about. You guys, I have been looking at this thing for probably two years now, and I finally was like, I'm going to get it. Because at first, I just didn't know if we would utilize it, and I don't know, but I'm so glad that I purchased it because I, we love books so much in our house that I know that my kids are gonna love this. And it is the Yoto player. And I guess they come in two sizes. Um, does this show it? Oh no, this is just this one. Um, they come in two sizes and they do have a carrying case. I didn't get the carrying case because I just, I think this is just going to be something that is a stationary thing. Um, I'm not sure yet. Maybe I'll buy the carrying case later. I'm not sure. But they also make little mini ones. This was about 100 bucks, And then I also got some cards to go with it. And I'm going to open it up and show you guys. It is so cool. Um, I already set it up for them. And I just think they're going to really love this. My younger ones especially. I did get some books for Nathan. He's mostly, um, okay, so this, the reason why I almost didn't get this is because I have, if you followed my channel for any amount of time, you would know that I signed up for Scribd a while back and I have loved it. I have listened to so many audiobooks on it. My children have listened to audiobooks. So that was one of the reasons um, that stopped me last year from getting it because we ended up doing Scribd. And before that, we were just utilizing um, Hoopla and Libby and those type of apps that you can just get for free on for your from your library. Uh, so I just didn't see a need for this. And then after I got Scribd, I ended up getting each of my kids a Bluetooth headset and Sometimes, you know, I only have so many devices. Um, like we don't have a ton of tablets. We have two tablets and then um, an extra phone that they can like, you know, share. But sometimes I just can't help them set it up. And my things, I'm very strict when it comes to devices in my house. 
and my kids do not have access to devices. They are locked. They are on, you know, they have a password and some like they have to ask for help to set it up. And so sometimes that I can't do it right away. And with this, they can do it all by themselves. That is what caused me to end up getting this is that they can set it up all by themselves. They just put the card in and it starts playing. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It comes with a charging cord too. Um, and then it just sits, the charging cord, um, the part that plugs into it is actually, it just kind of rests on top of it. And uh, then there's this little button right here and you push it and this, it all, oh, it stopped lighting up, but it lights up and then we got the little face. I'm still trying to figure out how to work it because, of course, I can't really take it out when my kids are awake. So I've only had a little bit of time to play with it. But um, I don't know if you can see that, but it's dim. It's also cool because you can use it as a nightlight. Like this light here turns on. I'm not sure how to do that yet. I feel like I've tried to and I can't figure it out. Um, or when I tried to do it before. But this will light up and you can use it as a nightlight in your children's room and you can set it to time to wake. I have two different clocks uh, in each of my, I got from my younger boys and then my girls' rooms. They each have a clock in their room. One of them is like a little stop sign clock. I'll link them both below. It's red and then I set it to a time that they can wake up and it will turn green. And then in my boys' room, I have the Hatch Baby Rest and that pretty much does the same thing but it's a sound machine so I like that um, about the Hatch Baby Rest but this also is an okay to wake thing like you can set it to turn green or whatever color you want to let them know it's time you can wake up now so I don't know if I already said this but you have two dials one you can like push them you can click it to turn up and down the volume I'm not sure what this part does. I think you can set it to do something, but I haven't really set it up yet. Um, it tells the time. And then uh, here is where you put the cards in. Oh, see? Oh, I think you have to put it on its side for it to glow. <laughs> Let me see. Let me, oh, that's what it is. Oh, my gosh. Look at that, you guys. Okay, so you can have it glow any color you want. It, you download the app and then it will show you. Um, but how cool, I didn't even realize that. So you put it on this and then you can have it turn like green in the morning when it's okay to wake up. Uh, so let me put this over here. So then I can share with you the cards that I got. So it does come with one make your own card. So it is a welcome card and it is a make your own card. I'm pretty sure, yeah, make your own card. And you can put whatever you want on, on this. I don't know how to work that yet because, you know, I haven't really gotten to mess around with this too much. Um, but then I had gotten a starter pack and it was $10. It was on sale for $10 and it came with all of these cards. So I thought, and usually one card is like eight bucks or anywhere from six to like 10 maybe. Uh, so that's not bad. Um, so in this starter pack, it also came with uh, a make your own card. Then it came with a podcast card. And then, so they each kind of have their own little look to it. Um, then it came with a music card. It also came with an activity card, um, and this one is called My First 100 Words. So this is what it's called, but I guess each of them have a thing on the back to tell you like what kind of card it is. Uh, so I guess I shouldn't have been showing it you that way. Okay, so this one is a sound effects card. So this is like crackling fire, and I'm not sure if there's other sounds on here. This is kind of what the back looks like. 
And these are probably as thick as a credit card. And then it came with Robin Hood for a book. And then it also came with this Flamingo, uh, Hotel Flamingo, which I have been wanting to get for Faith. So I'm excited about that. And all you have to do, like I'll put this crackling fire in. Um, all you have to do is stick it in. Is it on? Oh, here we go. And each card will show a picture too. And then, done. Look at that. Isn't that fun? Uh, let's see this one. So then we have this one. So this one shows. Castle. Uh, Castle. So it goes over a hundred words in each of these languages. Sure. So that's cool. So this was would be good for like younger kids. Um, or if you're trying to teach another, that's why I was kind of excited about this because I thought this can kind of teach some words in other languages for us. So I thought that was pretty cool. So you just put them in and take them out. And I thought my kids would love this so much. And then the last two cards that I got our Roald Dahl, uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. We love Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. We've actually never read the book. We've watched the movie and loved it. Of course, the old school one. And then, you guys, I didn't even know about this. But when I thought, I was like, I have to get it because I want to listen to it. And it is Charlie and the Great Glass Elevator. What? A sequel? Oh my gosh. Did you guys know that Charlie and the Taco Factory had a sequel? Maybe you did. I didn't. But I was like, I'm getting that because I want to listen to it. So these are so fun and so cool. And I am so excited. And I also, oh, bummer. I should have brought it out here. I forgot. I also got um, these little... I'll put a picture right here. I got these little um, card holders to put all of them in. They will fit right in there and you can just flip through them and it's a good spot to hold all of your little cards in. So I am so excited that, and I'm excited to be able to put whatever I want on this make your own card uh, when I figure that out, but I think my kids are really going to enjoy this. And the cool thing about Yodo is that everybody, once you sign up, you have a link and you can share it with people and get, um, I think if I share my link below, which I will, I will make sure to leave that below. You will get $10 off your first order. And then I think I get points I'm pretty sure I'll get points or something like that. And then your points add up to, you know, free books and stuff like that, uh, which is so much fun. So I will leave that linked below. I'm pretty sure it was $10 off or like 10% or something like that. I don't know. I will leave it down below so that you can see. But they also have a little mini one as well. Pretty sure the mini one is only like 40 bucks or maybe it's 60. So it's definitely less money. Um, so if you wanted a more cost effective one, go with the mini. Uh, but yeah, so that is what I got our kids for Easter. If you guys like this video and enjoyed it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next video. All right guys, have a blessed day. Thank you.